What's up guys? It's been a while since I've made a video. All it does is rain here. It's actually starting to rain right now. You probably can't see it on the camera, but it uh, it is sprinkling. So I know I'm getting a lot of comments. Uh, matter of fact, I delete a lot of comments that uh, people say that bike's not 100 horsepower. You know, I don't know how much more proof you need to uh, say a bike's 100 crank horsepower when the bike made 98 at the rear wheel. There's a dyno sheet posted as a video, and it ain't long, but I mean, you get the point. I've got one I took with a crappy uh, cell phone I had at one time. There's a video of it on my channel too, but it's not that great. But if you, if you freeze it in one scenario, you can see where it made like 98 horsepower or something. Uh, I've got a dyno sheet laying somewhere or another. Uh, I still get a lot of comments saying it's a turd in the woods and stuff like that. Now there's there's some hills. Uh, I'm not going to get on it real hard today. It's a little low on fuel, but there's some hills right down here. And I'm going to go down here and show y'all that this thing with a 15 tooth on it will lug going up them. I don't know how steep it looks on the uh, video, but that's where we're going to go first. I'm going to go down here and show you that, and then I'll come back and get on it once or twice. Here we go. <laughs> Sometimes I ain't even kidding. My hand's shaking. But you know it ain't every day you get to run a 100 horsepower banshee. Okay. Uh, like I was saying, the pipes is sheer end frames. Now y'all gonna notice a lot of 
oil splatter here that's okay these pipe clamps are old i got some new ones on the way not to worry about that but they're called shear end frames good looking pipes i mean you can pick them up for six seven hundred dollars honestly i think i come out on a good deal with these because they're showroom chrome i do believe because if you check the heads out they haven't turned purple yet a lot of them you know turned purple um the decal graphic kit on this banshee you can no longer get it's from alba alba racing the uh shock boots that you see them come from ebay believe it or not uh, let's see go over a little more of it that's an armadillo skid plate and you know guys it, this is just a trail banshee i mean it does everything i want it to do like i was saying earlier i get some crazy comments i mean some of the stuff I just delete. So if you comment something dumb, I'm more likely going to delete it. I mean, nobody needs that garbage. Everybody loves ATVs. They're all fast. And I want to show you one thing on here that I just I love. Check out that right there. It says Mr. Nasty. You guys can put in the comments what you think about that. I will tell you something that I learned a long time ago. The chain on this bike is a non-o-ring chain. And Believe it or not, uh, we've seen them pick up like two, three horsepower on the dyno by switching from an O-ring chain to a non-O-ring. Just be sure you keep it lubed up a lot. And more or less, the, the four-wheeler's pretty much stock everywhere else. I mean, it's got a 15-tooth gear on it. I'm probably going to switch back to the 14 because it's long-legged. I mean, as you can see right here in the pasture, this thing gets down pretty hard. Comes out of the drift down there on a power wheelie one back tire and the stupidest thing is is this is the second axle I've had in the back of this four wheeler and this one is a little bit warped right now and by the life of me I can't figure out how it's got warped uh, don't jump the four wheeler much I haven't hit anything but it absolutely blows my mind that it's warped and I know it may sound dumb but uh, only thing I can think of is maybe when it comes out of the drift on one back tire, it puts a lot of pressure on a hub or something, maybe bending it, but you can literally jack the four-wheeler up, and it's got a little bit of warpage to it. But, okay, on to the uh, engine. A lot of people have been wanting to see this. These are muffler guards for the shear end frames to keep them from melting these unipods. The carbs are PWKs, which I've went over in the past. And it's just got a cool head, 20cc domes in it, Banshee Pistons is what's in this four-wheeler. I mean, you know, keep putting some comments what you guys like. Like I said, you see a lot of oil coming out, but uh, that's because I, I tried mixing it 20 to 1 to see how it would do. Check this out. It's all over my legs, too. But yeah, it's a little too rich, so I've done leaned it back up. No big deal. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm going to try to plan a riding trip to go somewhere so I ain't riding here in my yard so much. Because this thing is absolutely monster. I'm going to tire my yard up. Get it out on the highway. I get nervous I'm going to get chased by the popo. But, you know, I'm sure it would outrun them. I've done it a time or two in the past when I was a kid. But yeah, that'll sum up this video, guys. I mean, like I said, it's just a trail bike. I'm probably going to gear it back down because I do ride some woods and I like the 15 tooth. It gives you plenty of speed, plenty of top end. But uh, I honestly, I don't like how it, how when you hold the bike down, how it just seems like it's wringing the guts out of it. I don't like that at all. It just seems like it's going to come apart to me. But, you know, that may just be just me, a little paranoid, you know. But uh, as far as radiator goes on the bike, it's stock radiator. This set of pro taper handlebars and this is a yfz 450 master cylinder so uh maybe tomorrow i'll do a little video showing a little bit of the calipers and what you have to modify to both the yfz 450 calipers up and when you run the motor like this this is pretty much a must because the brakes boil on it so much so uh you guys take care leave me some comments and have a good one